What is up guys, Fallen Red Zero here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved, and today we're just kind of playing around here, and I think uh, if you saw in the last episode we were building the barrier over here. I can't remember what all I got done, but I did build up the wall all the way to three, yeah three, um, and I got some more stuff laid around there and some up top there as well you can kind of see in the corner, but um, before I continue on, since I do need a lot of stone and wood and everything, as I mentioned last episode, I'm going to be taming some stuff today. And it just so happens that I was flying around over here checking out all the dangerous dinos and everything. And there's a Dodickers, or there was. Hopefully it's still over here. Um, yes, it's right here in front of me. Which, of course, there's dangerous stuff like raptors and everything um, over here. So i got to be careful with that. But I'm going to try and tame this Dodickers and hopefully... I can get it all tamed up because I believe it's a 140 if I'm correct. I don't know what that is over there, but I probably should kill it. But I believe this is... I'll have to look at it here in a second. But I believe it's a 140. So that's why... I, oh, it's just this thing. There's a raptor, though. Kill off all the dinos here so I don't have to worry about anything. 140 Trudon. Ooh, there's an egg. You want an egg? I'll pick up the egg real quick just because I want it. No. Nope. Go away, you stupid Gallimimus. Okay, so I don't see anything dangerous around, but of course stuff falls off from the volcano. It's so foggy all the time, so I'll have to be careful with that. Oh, and there's Fiomia, which I have yet to have one of those, and they're super easy to tame, so I can do one of those. But yeah, I'm going to tame this Dodicris. Let's look at it. So like I said, I believe, yes, it's a 140 male, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and try and land up on this rock. At least to try and get my bird out of the way. I don't see any dinos. A lot of times there's dinos on that hill over there. So I'm checking there and then over in that section. But I don't see any. So I should be fine. Like I said, all I got to worry about is stuff dropping off of the base or the top thing up there so let's go let's see if we can figure out where the doe diggers so these things are kind of weird and finicky to tame i love them though like i said they're my f i swear i turned the stuff up so um if you notice anything weird about like the ground and stuff compared to last time i adjusted some of the quality stuff because i'm trying to get the sky to look better i don't think it looks very good so i was trying to mess it out super bright even though i turned the stuff off so i don't know what's up with that um, but now every there's like stuff all over the ground, which I think looks cool and a lot of stuff like especially around my base. But let's go ahead. So it's right over there. I don't think I'll be able to get it from here. But let's just try. Oh god, is the stego fighting something? Maybe it was just pooping or something. I don't know. So there it is. Hopefully it doesn't knock me off. That's what I'm hoping for. It or it doesn't destroy the rock. Sometimes they do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, of course I missed the rock completely. And apparently I'm hitting a rock. Wasting all my bullets on a rock. Okay. Something's got to change here. <laughs> and freaking miss the thing again. I'm wasting so many bullets. Thankfully, though, I can make more. I do have plenty of stuff to make more. Go to sleep, Dodicarus. And try and shoot you in the butt so that way I don't miss you. Since I can't hit your face. Need to come up with a name for this Dodicarus. Oh, it's that Fiomi. I was like, what is that? It's so dark. Let's see if I can Gamma up. Oh, that helps a whole lot. I didn't even think about Gamma for some reason, but I don't know why that sky, sky is so bright. It's so annoying. Ooh, shoot you in the tail. Don't go in the water is all I ask. Ooh, it's blue on its underneath. It's kind of cool. coming for me again. It's got to run from it and keep out of the leaves so I can actually see it. Let's see if I can get back up on the rocks here. Yeah. 
gonna just keep shooting you in the butt. Hopefully you go down soon. God, that thing scares me, the Gallimimus. Go down. I want to shoot you in the face, but your stupid head is too close. Oh, come on. Now we're going through the trees. Let's chase after it. Oh, God. Stupid gal, my was trapped me. Oh, I see. I was like, where'd it go? What is making that noise? I hope it's this Dodicarus. Or the Fiumia. Just nothing dangerous. Go down, you stupid thing. Starting to run out of bullets. Don't go in the water. Dang, this thing's taking forever. Stuck on a tree. You gotta go down sometime. And now it's running again. Just go to sleep. I'm almost out of trinks. Oh no, not in the water though. Get out of the water! No, 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 no. Get out of the water. Gosh dang it, I'm gonna probably have to make more tranks. Why can stuff never go easily? Ah, oh, there it goes right on the water's edge. Okay. Perfect, and I did it once again right before I ran out. So I had a bunch of medjo berries. I assume that's what it likes to eat. I don't know if they've updated or switched anything. But my goodness, that took forever. So I'm going to... Now I probably won't be able to get up on this rock. Um, so I'm going to let it tame up now. Hopefully it won't take too long. And hopefully nothing dangerous will come down and attack it or anything. But I need to go make the saddle for it real quick, which I know I have all the stuff ready. I just didn't craft it yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be all nice and safe. Nothing dangerous will attack it. And just before it does, we'll just go ahead and fly back to our base. And I don't see anything dangerous around. So here's the base again. It's, I know it's getting dark, but you can see like this rock used to just be all plain. Now it's got like grass all over it, and I think it looks kind of cool. Especially over here, but of course it's getting nighttime once again because every time we play dark, it's got to become nighttime. So let's see, I think I have everything in here. Let's go with saddles. Yep, Dodicris, craft and wand. So I need more stuff for the castroid. I need some mini paste, so I've got that crafting up in the other, um, over in the mortars and stuff like that. So mortar and pestles over here, so that'll be crafting up. So now I'll just sit and wait for the Dodicarus to tame up and I'll bree, bring it back I guess. I was going to say bree right back. But I'll bring it back once it's all tamed up and everything. And then of course after that we'll be going to find a beaver to tame up for, for it to gather wood and everything. So I'll do that once this gets tamed up and everything. So I'll see you then. Okay and so the Dodicarus finally tamed and I came up with a name. So you'll kind of get it there rock steady so it's going to be obviously named after the ninja turtle villain there rock steady since you know he um kind of messes with rocks and stuff like that so we're going to put the saddle onto him i forget where he put saddles but there we go 
Okay, so let's hopefully we can ride him. Let's go ahead actually and turn off the turn him to passive and then we don't want him to follow us or anything. But let's go and hop onto him. These are again are my favorite dinos. Let's see, we can already hit some rocks. Maybe to try and get out of where we are. Oh, he's already overweight, I guess. Which kind of stinks. <laughs> but let's see if we can power it up. Let's see. Oh, he's got a bunch of levels already. So we're definitely putting weight on this thing. We'll go ahead and get his weight pumped up quite a bit. Because we'll do at least 5,000. And then, of course, we'll move it up even more after that. So let's go ahead and get the RG. And then, when I, like I said, I want to do movement speed so I can move a lot faster than this. But we'll get his uh, stuff pumped up, his health and weight and everything so we can carry rocks. You know, since that's what he's meant for. Kind of gather up some stuff. Look at his health, how much, or weight, how much weight we have on it. Of course, these things are pretty good at swimming, which is kind of weird. But let's go ahead set this thing free and I did see there's a trike wandering around over here in my base and it's a uh, of 150 so and it's a male and so I have Tammy of course I still have my old base I still have never moved so she can have a mate hopefully as long as it stays alive and everything I assume it's yeah right there the trike and then some other dinos fell in the base over there um, they'll have to check out and make sure nothing dangerous but we got our do diggers which I'm so happy and so that means next up we're gonna be getting the beaver and um, of course with the names I'll just go ahead and name it bebop since it'll be bebop the beaver so it kind of goes with the name where the this one doesn't because obviously it's a D and not um, do digger starts with D and it's R for Rocksteady but we'll go ahead and just leave him here for now and take you off of following and stuff and so that's the beaver so now we'll have to go over and find a or for the dodicker so now we gotta find a beaver which i believe there's a pond over that way that i saw one flying over that had a bunch of beavers so i'm gonna go check there and see if i can find a good beaver um so that will be what we go to next okay so let's go find a beaver now so i think if i fly over in this direction i'm there's a like pond type thing i flew um saw it on the f way flying to this place when i came over here to find a new base location i saw it so we should be able to find it again it's just up this trail a little bit over the hills here there were a bunch of beavers so hopefully we'll be able to find a good beaver there's a paraceratherium and a bunch of other probably more raptors or something there's always raptors everywhere. I just had one in my base a few seconds ago. So we're going to fly over here. A bunch of terror birds everywhere. They're terrorizing y'all neighborhood. I need some of those uh, deer things. The Megaloceros, I think they're called. Oh, they're little plants. I thought those were weird bird, like penguins or something. But it's somewhere over this way. I, it's, uh, as much as I know, I don't remember exactly where it was. Let's see if it's up over the hill here. And if it's not, I may have to uh, take a break and fly around and fight. But I know it was over this direction somewhere. Because I know I flew this way to get to the new base. So I know it's over here somewhere. So I'll f probably have to find it. Let's fly up high and see if we can see anything real quick. And if not, I'll have to just fly around and try and find the place. Okay. I don't see. Oh, maybe right over here may just be a little bit farther than I thought because I see water and it kind of looks like this that's a cool area right there with that weird indention or like out curving and it looks pretty flat too It'd probably good, be a good place to build a base but I already got a new home I don't need another one so yeah I think this is the place here Ooh, and it looks like I already see some beaver and thankfully we have an RG so we can fly down and pick them up I have stuff there's a beaver right there so let's kind of just take a gander is there anything dangerous just trying to decide if I can just land over here and just kind of scout around. There's something there. I hope it's just uh, one of those, yeah, that's what it looks like. A long neck thing. A diplodocus. Okay, let's just land right here. I see there's a bugs and stuff, but I don't see anything dangerous. Okay, let's pull out our spyglass. Let's see what we can find here. We have a 55. 
bunch of beaver dams. I can get I need some mini paste. The fifty-five. See a bunch of bugs just flying over there. Okay, I don't care about the mega a level twenty. Just kinda scout all around here. I just saw the beat I see it. Where is it? Twenty-five. Ah, oh, they're swimming around too much. There was one there too. Stop swimming around so much though. That's Pecky. Oh, there it is. Oh, a compy trying to get me. Where'd the beaver go? I may have to pick him up just to see him, because I can't. They're moving around way too much. Uh, let's try. There was a whole bunch of compy sitting right there waiting. Let's see if we can go up here and see if we can look down. Maybe the reflection or something won't be so bad. I don't see anything dangerous over here, so we should be pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can even see anything. There's beavers everywhere, though. Oh, no, I can hardly see anything because of the RG. Oh, I was going to say, maybe I can just hop off the bird, but let's just fly down here and pick up some of them. A 25. I think I'll just kill the ones that aren't good level, just so we don't have to worry about them anymore. one here that's a 20 no good what about you skunk boy 25 I hope I can find some beaver 55 that was probably gonna be the best one okay come on shouldn't be too hard to find a beaver okay here's one right here Dang it. Ooh, there's a couple right here. You are 25. They're coming for me. 15. Mm. 20. They're all low level. <laughs> Is this what just what's gonna be low level? Oh gosh, I'm flying all around here. Okay, there's one. Come on, beaver. 25 again. Come on. There's like maybe one left. If I'm lucky, are they all dead? <laughs> nope, there's one. It's probably going to be low level. It knows it's being hunted. 25. Okay, so it looks like this was a bust. Oh no, a bunch of bugs coming. Okay, I'm gonna have to fly around and try and find a new beaver. Let's check this last one if I don't. Ooh, I see another one there too. This looks like we have two more beavers, maybe? One just kind of floating there in the water, like it's dead. A 140, perfect! Okay, so you just swim around here in the water, do whatever you want to do, and I'm going to come over here. Hopefully there's nothing dangerous. This is going to be the beaver taming area because I put a bunch of... Okay, so land. I'm going to have to gamma up real quick. So. Okay. Let's gamma up a little. I don't see anything dangerous around immediately. I guess there was a compi. Okay. So I made stuff to be able to build a dam, or a dam, a taming pin. So let's go ahead and get my inventory. We'll go and put, I bought foundations and doors and walls and stuff to put out. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll just build it right over here. We're going to do a four or two by two, whatever you want to call it. And then of course places doors because I don't, pretty sure beavers can't get out of the door here 
I usually put a dino door on, which of course I'll have to pick up a wall to get out. And then I put uh, walls up top just to, in case I ever want to use this for anything bigger. I can kind of keep him things from getting out. Come on. Okay, now let's find our beaver again. 140, which is perfect because that's exactly like my Dodicarus. So it's perfect level. I wonder what that beaver is because it's just sitting there in the water. I probably can't see it. I don't know exactly where it even is at. Okay, so let's look over here now. I want to see what level this one is. Oh, a 20. Okay. Got the 140. I'm going to just drop it in the pin over here. Like that. So it's in the pin now. I gotta got to be careful for that female in case she does come awake or something and try to come attack me. Okay, and I made some more trank darts because I had to take some time out to do that. So let's go ahead and hit our gun. And now hopefully this mini darts will take care of it. Like I said, hopefully that female, or, or I think it was female, over there doesn't come out and come attack me. Or any others that have maybe spawned back in or something. Hope I see a trike. Shoot the beaver in the butt. Remember, this one's going to be Bebop now. Get out of here, you packy. Come here, beaver. And they are both males, so I will have a Bebop and Rock steady perfectly. And so let's shoot it in the butt. And it's all quaking, it's shaking in fear. It's all scared, trying to attack my base. Just don't hit the trike, please. And get the trike all aggressive. Is it down? It is down. Awesome. Oh no, it's not. I thought it looked like it went down. Gosh, how many bullets? Everything like takes so many. There it goes. Now it's down. And I have medjo berries. Hopefully that will tame be enough to tame it up. I hope. Oh shoot, no, there's the beaver. Let's see what level you are. A 95, that's pretty good level, but... Hopefully no other beavers should probably take some cementing pace. While I'm here, oh, what the? There we go. Um, yeah, I, pay, I may go and grab some cementing so paste while I'm here, waiting for this thing to tame. So I'll get it all tamed up, and I'll be right back with the beaver. Okay, and so it tamed up, so we can go ahead and call it uh, Bebop. I don't know how to spell its name exactly, but we'll just go ahead with that and I'll change it later if need be. So I had to sit here forever, of course, because it took forever to tame. But let's go ahead and come over here and get the beaver out of the cage. So we'll go ahead. You can stop following me now and you can go on. Oh no. To passive. Ah, it's so cool. And I need to put the saddle on you. So we can ride you around. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go in the door here and try to take out. Just pick up this stuff. Like that. Perfectly. So we got our beaver now. Right now we can get all the wood we, in the world that we want. And I did clean out the... Ooh, there's Narji. 
wonder what level it is. But I think we can take it. A 50. Oh, yeah. Come here, you stupid RG. You pick me up on your wing, you stupid RG. There we go. So that'll give us some good levels killing that RG, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and fly back to our base now. So we can put you there, get on my RG, and pick up Bebop. So let's go. It sounded like something was like following us or something. But we are going to fly back home. We're not that far away, of course, which is perfect. So hopefully maybe more beavers will spawn back if we ever need another one. I don't know exactly. But um, I know where we get one now, so if we need to get more we can so we're gonna fly back to the base and then of course we can put these dinos to good use to continue on building our wall all the way around the base because we got a lot of work to do so I can gather stone and I can gather wood and um, kind of want to get one of the reindeer like I said we kind of passed a couple of them over here to get some thatch because I know they're one of the better dinos at getting thatch and everything um, so I'll have to think about that and I still need to get my trike moved over so I can start making more uh, narcotic and stuff um, but I do see like if I can get them to walk up over this way and then over kind of where I um, went to a place yesterday there is like a land bridge up over here somewhere up over across from my base that connects to my base here so I can get it and like walk it around over here and walk it over the bridge and everything I don't know if it's this no I don't think it's that bridge I think it's up there somewhere but um, yeah, I can kind of get everything all s figured out and settled and everything. Am I even anywhere near my base? I don't remember where my base is. I see waterfalls. Um, let's fly over the. Oh, it's over here, I think. Yeah, here's my base. It's not spawned in, so I can't tell. But we're coming in for a landing on the base. I need to gather metal, too. Of course, there's metal everywhere. So that works out pretty good. And I need more metal to craft up because I was trying to craft more trank darts and ran out of metal and stuff so I don't see any more dangerous stuff there's been raptors you know just falling off up there and that's what I need to get them for so we have bebop now and I put rat my rap or er, rock steady in here to be able to protect him since there have been raptors around so just need to wander him around take him outside here too and then we can get ready to build and craft a lot more stuff oh I'm stuck on you so we've got them two tamed up now. So we got Bebop and Rocksteady going on. Going to be my little team. So I usually take one, put it on follow of the other one, and just kind of have them and follow me. And then just kind of lead them all around wherever I need them. Load them up with wood and stone and everything. And so it's so cool. So we got Bebop and Rocksteady here. So that was awesome. So now, like I said, I can get to work on doing a bunch of more stuff off screen and everything since I got them tamed up. So that's probably going to be it for this episode today. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more ARC videos. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>